This administration and everyone who works for him is completely out of touch with reality. But you know what? They're doing exactly what they campaigned on. Joe Biden, when he was campaigning for president, he said, look into my eyes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I will eliminate fossil fuels. He should travel less than a thousand miles to Midland, Texas, rather than going to Saudi Arabia when you're talking about producing more oil. If the administration has their way, Joe Biden would make sure you're paying $10 a gallon. What's up, you guys? It's Steve here, and Representative Jason Smith is furious with the Biden administration and what's been unfolding with our economy. Now, I've got some video footage you are not going to want to miss. I'm going to get you caught up as to what they're saying. Let me know if you agree in the comments. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, you'll recall he let it rip about stimulus checks and how the money was misguided, misdirected, did not go to the right places, and he said we were just wasting taxpayers' money, just shoveling out all this money, going to the wrong places. Now, if you missed that, just take a look at this clip right here of what he had to say. $1,400 stimulus checks to Japanese citizens living in Japan for over a year we have cataloged numerous examples of ridiculous waste of federal tax dollars, $783 million to checks to prisoners. This list goes on and on. This is why we need answers from the administration. So what did American families get? I'll tell you, they got higher prices and lower real wages. Interest rates are rising faster than it has seen in 30 years all without further federal government stimulus. Despite this, and with $1 trillion in unspent COVID money, Democrats chose to gamble with the financial security of the American people. Now, if you want to see that video, check it out right after this one. I'll put a link for you so you can go ahead and take a look at what he had to say in that meeting. But here's a press release from him, and I've got some more footage on everything that's unfolding as well. We're going to be looking at in just a second. But take a look, you guys. Link in the description below. This just came out five days ago, an official press release from him, having sparked the worst inflation in 40 years and billions in waste. Biden's administration continues big spending with the American Rescue Plan funds. And it says, last month, a second tranche worth $105 billion from the American Rescue Plan went out to states and localities. From early reports of how states and localities are planning to spend this second wave of federal tax dollars, it appears that Washington Democrats have not learned anything. Even after the American Rescue Plan ignited the highest inflation in 40 years, the Biden administration is still shoveling more money out of the door for states and localities to waste and misuse with further fuelings of the inflation fire. Now, you guys, as you know, I've been keeping you up to date here on the channel on state, city, and county checks that are going out. Uh, you can get them. They're available for limited amounts of time. You have to apply. And this is why from the American Rescue Plan. Now, what he's saying is a lot of these funds, they're going out to just random stuff and they're not actually going out to the American people to help them out. And this is a huge complaint when they're going out to other stuff when people are hurting. Well, take a look. He said high inflation was predictable and predicted result of Washington Democrats $2 trillion spending spree. Now, jumping down, here's some of the things that it's going towards. A flood of money. Now, Milwaukee, Wisconsin only spent $11 million of $197 million from its first round from the American Rescue Plan funding. The city is scheduled to receive another $197 million. So they only used $11 million of almost $200 million. All that money is going back to the federal government. And as I let you know, we're hearing that all that money that's going back, there's over $800 billion just sitting there right now. That's enough to provide two stimulus checks from the amount sent in the third one. The third one was for $1,400. Overall price tag of $400 billion. They could send out two of those with how much money is left over. Phoenix, Arizona, they're going to be getting $198 million for a second tranche. And we're hearing that Arkansas, they're going to be receiving $700 and $86.6 million. And Ohio cities and towns with less than 50,000 people are going to be getting $422 million. So you guys, tons of money is going out to states, cities, counties. These are popping up almost every other day because of the American Rescue Plan funds that were set aside to go out. I'm going to keep you up to date on these so that way if money's coming your way, you can know about it. People who need help can receive it and it doesn't just go back to the federal government or some random thing. But here is the look at the waste and the fraud and the abuse that he says. He lists out 
$1,400 stimulus checks went out to Japanese citizens living in Japan. Uh, $783 million worth of stimulus checks to prisoners. $140 million for luxury hotels in Florida. And just a laundry list of misuse of the funds. And he's saying, if we're going to do more spending, at least send it to the American people to help them out. And uh, people have been promised all of these provisions for over a year now from Biden when he ran uh, for office, uh, such as fourth $2,000 stimulus checks, increasing social security, providing child tax credits, all these provisions to people that did not come through, yet we're still seeing more and more spending rolling out. And if you missed my video from earlier today, check it out. He announced more money is gonna be going out to help out with Ukraine, which we wanna see Ukraine get assistance, but at the same time, we don't want to forget about the American people here in the United States as we're hearing over 80% of people say the number one priority right now should be the economy because people are struggling. And like I said, we've got a ton of leftover money just sitting there that could be reallocated and repurposed by the president via executive order to help out at this time. Now, we will see. I will keep you up to date, you guys. But let's take a look at the video footage and hear what Representative Jason Smith has to say. Let me know if you agree with him or not. Now, before we dive in, though, if you could do me a quick favor, if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on everything going on, just very quickly, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton if you appreciate the content. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's free. Why not? Come join the Ram fam. All you got to do is very quickly smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, hop onto Instagram at steveram3. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me the questions. I'll do my best to get you answers here on YouTube. In the comments, I don't have a WhatsApp. I don't try to sell you Bitcoin. Please stay away from those scammers trying to pose as me. Same thing on Instagram. It's happening a lot. steveram3. Best way to get a hold of me, you guys. And as I mentioned, we're working on a list of all the checks for states, cities, and counties so you don't miss out on anything. Keep an eye out for that. Looking to release that this month. Don't miss it. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into the video footage and take a look. Joining us now, ranking member of House Budget Congressman Jason Smith. Congressman, okay, your reaction to what Edward Lawrence is just reporting. He's going to ask for more oil production out of the Gulf states, but he's not going to ask Saudi Arabia. Why is he going there? I'll tell you, this administration, uh, like what the reporter was just saying, trying to blame inflation and the increase in gas prices on Putin's invasion. Let me tell you, Liz, before Putin ever moved, moved any military towards an invasion, inflation was up 7.5% in the United States and gas prices were up 75% since Joe Biden took the oath of office. It's hogwash for people to allow this administration to try to blame it on Putin and Ukraine when in fact it's their policies that's created the disaster with energy and with inflation. You know, the Supreme Court ruling that the EPA overreached, that it cannot adopt on its own this sweeping regulatory scheme started under the Obama White House to push the U.S power grid away from fossil fuels toward wind and energy, uh, wind energy and solar energy. But Congressman, the Biden White House is still pushing the Biden climate agenda through the Clean Air Act. Uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, he's in a new and major fight. Biden's EPA wants to crack down on the nation's biggest oil field, the Permian Basin in Texas, claiming it's violating ozone pollution standards. That's a quarter of America's gas supply and 40 percent of our oil. This administration's war on U.S. energy is exactly what's driving up the prices for every American whenever they pull into the gas pump. The fact that they're now trying to wage a regulatory war on an area in the United States that produces 40% of our gasoline is unacceptable. Apparently, this administration would rather be relying on Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, or other countries rather, rather than our own U.S. oil supply. It's unacceptable. He should travel less than 1,000 miles to Midland, Texas, rather than going to Saudi Arabia when you're talking about producing more oil. And, you know, Congressman, the Permian Basin is one of the nation's biggest employers. Nearly 100,000 workers there, plus it supports thousands of workers in towns near it. Let's watch climate advisor Gina McCarthy brag about the fossil fuel sector losing jobs under President Biden. Watch. We just had a, a recent report that was put out that's showing all of the energy and the employment stats from last year. Clean energy is winning. Fossil fuels losing jobs. 
What do you say? Liz, this administration and everyone who works for him is completely out of touch with reality. But you know what? They're doing exactly what they campaigned on. Joe Biden, when he was campaigning for president, he said, I re look into my eyes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I will eliminate fossil fuels. That's what he said when he was running for office. And that's, in fact, what his administration is trying to do. Their, their belief is increase gas so then everyone can you know drive an electric car but guess what buying a sixty thousand dollar electric car in southeast missouri isn't quite easy whenever people's median income household is forty thousand dollars for a family of four they're out of touch with real americans and congressman russia's vladimir putin is probably applauding this today the president said over in europe today that we will all have to pay for high gas as long as it takes in order to defeat russia you know, Putin wants high oil to pay for his war in Ukraine. This is Biden's price hike, not Putin's. Let's take a listen. Watch. I can understand why the American people are frustrated because of inflation. But inflation is higher in almost every other country. Prices of the pump are higher in almost every other country. We're better positioned to deal with this than anyone, but we have a way to go. Ultimately, the reason why gas prices are up is because of Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. How long is it fair to expect American drivers and drivers around the world to pay that premium for this war? As long as it takes. So Russia cannot, in fact, defeat Ukraine and move beyond Ukraine. Russia's in it for the long haul. As long as it takes. Are we heading to like $10 a gallon? If the administration has their way, Joe Biden would make sure you're paying $10 a gallon. These folks are completely out of touch, like I said, with everyday American. They want to raise the cost of energy. They want to raise the, the price per gallon. Their goal is to eliminate fossil fuels. Liz, as I said earlier, inflation was up 7.5% before Putin ever invaded Ukraine. Gas prices were up 75% before Putin invaded Ukraine. And it's right. because of the policies by executive order of Joe Biden and his administration. And this is what they want. And now they're trying to blame Putin. It's crazy. So there you have it, you guys. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree with him? If President Joe Biden wanted, he actually could resolve a lot of the issues with the gas prices right now. And he's saying pushing electric vehicles. Well, a lot of people in the Midwest can't afford that. And we've also heard that the infrastructure is not set in place for that. We don't have enough charging stations. If everybody received an electric vehicle right now, we wouldn't be able to support that. There's just not the infrastructure set up in place uh, for that to move forward. This is going to take some time. Let me know your thoughts. And do you think we're going to be seeing $10 per gallon, like they had mentioned, on the way here very soon. We're hearing that gas prices aren't coming down. They're going to be sustained for quite some time, and they might still be going up. Now, whatever unfolds, you guys, I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And if we get any form of relief in the form of stimulus checks, gas rebate cards, anything like that, I'll be sure to let you know here on the channel. But you guys, that is the latest. I will keep you up to date. We're hearing the White House is taking those into consideration at this time. And if something is going to be passing, it is likely going to be happening right before the midterm elections because Democrats want it fresh in the minds of voters. We will see. Like I said, I'll keep you up to date. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's free. Why not? Hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance and keep an eye out for that comprehensive list of all checks so you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.